Unit 3, Lesson 12, Percentages and Tape Diagrams. Here is a tape diagram that shows how far two students walked. A. What percentage of Priya's distance did Tyler walk? All five of these sections combined total 100% of the distance Priya walked. 100% divided by five sections equals 20. Each section is worth 20%. Out of the five sections that Priya walked, Tyler only walked four of those sections, which would be four out of five. This space represents 20%. So Priya actually walked 20% further than Tyler. 100% minus 20% equals 80%. The distance that Tyler walked was 80% of the distance that Priya walked. Here's another way to look at it. Tyler walked 4 out of 5, which is 8 out of 10, or 8 tenths, which is the same as 80 over 100, or 80%. B. What percentage of Tyler's distance did Priya walk? Tyler walked four sections, each section representing two kilometers. Well, Priya walked five sections with each section representing two kilometers. 100% of Tyler's walk divided by four equals 25%. So that extra section or that extra two kilometers that Priya walked is worth another 25%. So in total, Priya walked 125% compared to Tyler's 100%. Priya walked 25% further than Tyler. Priya walked 125% the distance that Tyler walked. Number 2. A bakery makes 40 different flavors of muffins. 25% of the flavors have chocolate as one of the ingredients. Draw a tape diagram to show how many flavors have chocolate and how many don't. I've started out my tape diagram representing 100% of all the muffins. 100% of all the muffins divided by 25% of the muffins that have chocolate as one of the ingredients equals 4. So I divided my tape diagram into 4 sections. So remember, 100% of this entire tape diagram represents a total of 40 muffins. 40 muffins divided by 4 sections equals 10. So there's 10 muffins in each section. The red box on the left represents the 10 flavors of muffins that have chocolate in their ingredients. And all three of the sections to the right represent the flavors of muffins that don't have chocolate in their ingredients. 10 flavors or 25% of the muffins have chocolate in their ingredients and 30 flavors or 75% of the muffins don't. Number 3. There are 70 students in the school band. 40% of them are 6th graders, 20% are 7th graders, and the rest are 8th graders. A. How many band members are 6th graders? I made a tape diagram with 100% of the students represented on the top and all 70 students represented on the bottom. The information mentioned that 20% of the students are 7th graders. So I divided 100% by 20% and I got 5. So I divided my tape diagram up into 5 sections and I made each section worth 20%. 70 divided by 5 is 14. So each section is also worth 14 students. How many band members are in the 6th grade? 28. The first two boxes, 20% plus 20% equals 40%, and 14 students plus 14 students equals 28. So 28 of the students are in 6th grade. B. How many band members are in 7th grade? Well, they said that 20% are 7th graders, so the number 14 is underneath 20%, so we know that 14 students, or 20% of the students, are in 7th grade. C. What percentage of the band members are in the 8th grade? The remaining band members are in the 8th grade. 20% plus 20% or 40% just like the 6th graders. 14 plus 14 equals 28. So 28 of the band members are in 8th grade. Number 4. Jada has a monthly budget for her cell phone bill. Last month she spent 120% of her budget. 
and the bill was $60. What is Jada's monthly budget? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, she spent $60, which was 120% of her budget. So $60 equals 120%. Here's a tape diagram that I made that shows 20% sections. So 20% times 5 equals 100%. So the first 5 represent 100%. $60 divided by 6 sections equals $10. So each of the 6 sections is also worth $10, or 20% is $10. The total of the first 5 sections equals $50 or 100% of the phone bill. Number five, which is a better deal? Five tickets for $12.50 or eight tickets for $20.16? Explain your reasoning. I made a tape diagram to represent $12.50. And since there were five tickets, I divided it into five sections. And $12.50 divided by five is $2.50. Each of the five sections is worth $2.50, or each of the five tickets is worth $2.50. I made a tape diagram representing $20.16 and eight tickets. So you'll see that there's eight sections. $20.16 divided by 8 equals $2.52. Each ticket is worth $2.52. So the best deal is 5 tickets for $12.50. Number 6. An athlete runs 8 miles and 50 minutes on a treadmill. At this rate, how long will it take the athlete to run 9 miles? I made a tape diagram and on the top I represented 8 miles and on the bottom I represented 50 minutes. 50 minutes divided by 8 miles equals 6 and a quarter minutes. Each mile will take 6 and a quarter minutes. We know it takes the athlete 50 minutes to run 8 miles and we know that athlete can run each mile in six and a quarter minutes. So just add six and a quarter to 50 and you would get 56 and a quarter minutes. The athlete can run nine miles in 56 and a quarter minutes. B, how far can the athlete run in one hour? One hour equals 60 minutes 60 minutes divided by 6 and a quarter minutes equals 9 and 6 tenths. The athlete can run 9 and 6 tenths miles in one hour. Congratulations! You have completed Unit 3, Lesson 12, Percentages and Tape Diagrams. I just launched a Patreon account for Channel G Rated, and right now there are a lot of benefits for the first patrons. For example, the first patron award. This award will go to the first Channel G Rated patron. To show my thanks to you for being Channel G Rated's first patron, your name and the title, first Channel G Rated patron, will be included in the video description of every future video upload throughout your patronage. There are many other awesome benefits that you can jump on right now at Patreon.com. Check out the link in the video description. Don't procrastinate because the early birds are going to get the worms.